Hi guys, welcome to Live From Oz. Now this is my place and I thought if I'm gonna cook a barbecue in Australia, in your backyard, it has to be lamb. So we've got some beautiful lamb chops. Um, and strangely enough, my guests uh, are two uh, Australian actors um, and very, very dear friends of mine. And uh, we actually went into this lockdown um, whenever it was, three months ago. Doesn't even, not even three months ago, but it sounds, feels like that. Um, we were actually away for the weekend together and we had a big seafood barbecue. And then we came back and, and a week or two later, we were actually locked in. And uh, so I thought, coming out of it now that restrictions have been eased, I thought I'd invite them over for a barbecue and um, we can come out of it together. In fact, I think they're here now. Are they here? Hello, mate. Mate. Hello, mate. Oh. Hello, Matt. I smell Moran family lamb. <laughs> you too, buddy. How, How are you? you? Oh, give it one of those. Yeah. Oh, Hello, mate. mate. How are you um, going? Mate, I like the mask. Well, you know, better safe than sorry. We did come through Bondi. We came to, uh, <laughs> to come through Bondi <laughs> and now we're know, safe. from the northern beaches. You never know what you're going to collect on the way. And, uh, and we've got some Corona beer. Just, um, a, just a case, yeah. Just a case. <laughs> nasty case. A nasty case of Corona. <laughs> um, guys, come over and have a look at the lamb. Ah. Oh. I burnt myself in. A bit of Moran's lamb, look at that. Now, Rox, I think you can get rid of that now. It actually uh, smells incredible. Dan, look at that. How cool is that? You can smell this from the street, it's seriously good. good. Mate, you know what, this is my new um, barbecue. Toy. Yeah, and Where I did just, this come from? Uh, that was very expensive. Was that? Yeah. Japanese? Uh, no. Um, it is, Chinese? I, think, I think, Chinese. Yeah. And um, it was $79 at Bunnings. Are you serious? I'm deadly serious. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, I've, I've been using it a lot. Um, just, you know, a bit of charcoal on the bottom. And this is a rotisserie. Really? Yeah, it's fantastic. It's a $79 thing. Yep. I reckon, what do you reckon, Dan? Do you reckon they're nearly cooked? Well, let's put a no. finger in there, mate. You know the trick, don't you? You're supposed to... It's, it's that. Nah. There's that, a that trick. Or that? No. There's a trick. Do you use a meat thermometer or is it just, just by, just no. by don't need sensory it, awareness? Don't need it. Sensory awareness. But what I... Um, don't need it. Th th it's really hard to, to do it's that so test. Thick. It's so thick. It's so I've, I've actually Careful. squashed them up. Yeah. So they're oh, actually... So they're really... Brazilian boys. style? Brazil uh, yeah. yeah. But you know what? It's quite funny, Dan, because I, all I seem to do is be cooking on on chocolate, whether it's the green egg. I've got a smoker in there. I've got this uh, this little salty. rotisserie now. That um, is really lamby. Is where we started cooking on fire, you know, 2,000 years ago or whatever, and then we got all fancy with our rational ovens, and now we're going back to cooking on fire. I, I, I always do. You do have coals. I think once you've actually done it, though, you can't go back. You never go back. You pop a little bit of hickory in there, mate. Uh, there's hickory and apple. Oh, you're um, beautiful. Compressions in there, yeah. Yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah nice. I mean, I know. I mean, you've thought of everything, Chef. I've got, I've got these extra ones here, because yes, I'll tell you... Are they... Why? Do you want one now? Did this with this one? Yeah. Oh, you can, mate, would you mind? You can, yeah, you can... Yeah, great. I'll just dive in. I'm, so, I'm actually starving. Are you? Yeah, starving. All right. Could, should I paint it? You can paint it with a bit of mint. You want me to paint all of this? Yeah, you can oh, do that. Oh, mon dieu. Here, Is paint, that good? paint yeah. that. Paint it green, mate. Thank you. All right. Um, that is just let's gorgeous, go in thank here. you. Oh, this, this is I reckon so they're, they're not far off, actually. What I might do is let that rest. Oh. I'm going to let that rest on here. Oh. And then I'll come back after I make the salads. Oh, mate. And then we can, my just, beer? we can just embiz in there. That is just so, so sensational. Geez, they look good, don't they? I think I, uh, I, I the 1.5 metre... Uh, gone out of the window. Went out the window yeah. there momentarily. Oh. Only I'm going to let that sit there and rest. Let's go in and do some salads, and I'll come back out. I'll put that on there, reheat it, and then we can sit down and eat. That is so. Is that good? Mm. Huh? Incredible. That wasn't part of the script. Completely unscripted. The lamb chops. Yeah. Wasn't it? No, it doesn't matter. That's so beautiful. That's Harry's oh, lunch. I'm actually. Is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> you got worried, though, didn't slightly you? Slightly guilty. Yeah, because he's a big boy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think you left your beer up here before it's ready. No. Always pinching my food. I'm not oh. going back up, mate. My oh, legs are too Let's get the dog in. Come on. Oh, mate. That's good, isn't it? So delicious. I haven't had Hello. kind of chunks of meat like that for going? a long time. <laughs> Dan's talking Come to Come on, puppy, your new car. Made a new best friend. Dan's made a new best friend. All right, guys. Oh. Well, uh, yeah. 
Come on, mate. All right. I'm just going to grab the cat because the cat, the cat's not allowed out. All right, good, is it? Come, Marv. I mean, it's all right. Best, best friend. Come on, buddy. Lamb chop. Say hello, Marv. Marv, say hello to Australia. Huh? Marvin, because Marvin is always starving. Marvin does not stop eating, ever. Starving Marvin. And he's got out, so I'm going to go put him back over here. Get in there, Marv. Yeah. Oh, thank you, mate. All right. All right. Oh my God. Um, Dan, I mean, would you like a, would you like a beer? I'd love one. I had one earlier. I'll have another what one, would you, mate. What would you like? Would you like a, um, a Corona? <laughs> <laughs> I'm being serious. Corona, a Carlton, or a Sapporo? Um. Or there's a Bondi one, I think, in there. I'll have a look. Do a Bondi have, one? Have yeah. I'll try the Bondi beer. Yeah. As long as it's not too kind of pineapple-y flavoured, because Dan juice. won't... It'll be a pineapple juice-based. <laughs> oh, good. I was, was going mean, to get you on congratulations. that. Congratulations. Thank you. Pleasure. Um, I'm going to have one of these, too. 1. Oh, yeah, 1.5 metres. Can you, go, can metres. Can you go away from me, please? You, you might have to put your mask on. Can you talk through that? Yeah. I saw um, some woman in America the other day. They had a mask on, and she was uh, at the, you know, teller or whatever, and she had it cut here and here and cut out. So she could speak. <laughs> and the guy who says, goes, well, what have you done to your mask? She goes, well, I can't speak properly unless I have. And he's like, but don't you get it? And she's like, what's your problem? Do you want, you know? What's your problem? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, cheers. Cheers, cheers. guys. Huh? Cheers. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Um, all right, it's good so to be free to free. To I'm just going to start cooking stuff, yeah? Because otherwise, <clears throat> you know, you get a bit... What else arky. are you doing, mate? Mate, I'm just going to... I've got a little salad here, mm. some uh, shallots, some uh, uh, cabbage... Well, don't and finger some, the whole thing. ..and I some mean, broccoli. Yeah. Now, my hands are really clean. I'll make sure that just... Hopefully, you know. hopefully that's the case. We've gone in... Now yeah. we'll... Now we'll have evidence, hard evidence. <laughs> and how, how, how's, the, how's the lamb business going then, Matt? Mate, that's the only business that... Uh, is actually doing anything at the moment. Um, Why is that? Because lamb prices are really good, beef prices are really good, and I've had some pigs that I've been killing. Um, we had five pigs come in last week. We made pork pies out of the shoulders. I've got, um, I've got uh, 32 kilo boneless hams that I'm going to sell, and I've got 80 kilos of streaky bacon that I'm going to sell. What are you going to do with those hams? Are you going to smoke them? Smoked them already. Have yeah, you? yeah, yeah. They come back on. Are they sort of Christmassy. Yeah, yeah. They can be, but they're they're mm. Christmassy hams, but they're for Christmas in June. Christmas in July. <laughs> 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 I'm just doing anything at the moment to sort of get some money. So, so lamb's, been lamb's been good, then. Lamb's been good. Lamb's been good yep. too. Yep. Lamb's been and good. And what's going on in the restaurant? We haven't talked about this. No. We haven't sorted um, this out. So. In restaurant world at the moment, it's uh, they're all or they've all been shut. We yeah. opened Chiswick last week for Mother's Day, uh, takeaway. For takeaway. And we had a we had a phenomenal weekend. What, we did, did people just come in and say, I'll grab a people, shoulder? Yeah, so they pre-ordered. They had a line down the road and people, you know, coming in or distancing and yeah. we sold um, packages. So yeah. we actually did... We normally do about 600 on, on Mother's Day. I reckon we did about 1,500 people. Wow. How so, nearly, yeah, nearly so three times. So, would be in the restaurant and this was... Yeah, but takeaway yeah. and we oh, just had amazing. a production line and we just... Look, I think we it's... We sold 450 shoulders. I think it speaks to the kind of... There's something... This is another thing that's actually been really great because up where I am, I'm in the Northern Beaches, you know, obviously, the, and all the restaurants up there, you know, like everywhere else, they're doing it hard, but there's been so much support of yeah. all of that stuff. Um, we, you know, we've, we'll get two takeaways a week, which we normally don't do, but yeah. just to keep those businesses going. And they're actually... They're, they're actually surviving through it and doing okay. So I, I did the it's opposite. It's kind of great. I did the opposite. For the first four or five weeks, we didn't have one takeaway. Because everyone was a little bit sort of slow to get takeaway also, mm. and I just cooked every night. So yeah, I was just yeah. sitting here and, uh, and cooking, and then I came up with the idea, because I've been cooking here and Amelia's been filming me, I decided to part. Oh, she she yeah. She's done a great she's job. My, she's my DOP. Incredible. She's done a great job. Yes. And uh, we Are came you up. Paying her for that, mate. Yes, twenty dollars. I know, Mim. Twenty dollars a 
You're doing a yeah. great job there. Really, really good. Yeah. yeah. So it's really quite professional, man. Mm. Yeah, good. Mm. And then um, we came up with the idea of, uh, of I zoomed about ten friends one night. And Who can't me, cook. Can't cook. Right. Well, I, th I thought they could. They're uh, freaking hopeless. Right. So I came up with the idea that maybe we, uh, we sell boxes of fruit and veg. And I partnered with Harris Farm. And m next Friday night is our first night. We go live. You buy a box. You take it. We deliver oh, it to you. Oh, yeah. And you, you do a live stream. I do a live stream on the That's Friday, a great idea. Friday night. And uh, how many people are you allowed to That's have for dinner on, on that night? Well, you're allowed now. You you can have is it um, five. Five. Oh, total of five. Yeah, yeah. It's a party so of five. I've done two. There's two dinners for four people. Right. That's a great. So you idea. can have one which is live, and then the other one, it'll be on my platform that you subscribe See, to. This and is great. I mean, there's something about this stuff that's kind of quite intimate as well that I've yeah. kind of like that I actually like. Yeah, about. and under the situation, it becomes kind of. The kind communality of, of it yeah, becomes yeah, more no, intensified. It, it and actually does. And it's really, actually good. Yeah. I, I like it. And I like the sort it's of innovation of it. Yeah. yeah. And how good is and Zoom just helps it, doesn't it? I mean, yeah. Zoom parties. You'd... Mind you, mate, if you've ever done any homeschooling, no, holy no, no, crap. No, no, no. Oh, God. Help um, us. Buttermilk, mayonnaise, a little bit of garlic. What's that? Oh, garlic. garlic. Some diet food. What oh. Oh, right, there you, you go. Cut that. I'll cut that out, mate. Don't worry. Mate, that I won't I, be in it. I no, it can be in there. I actually broke my stick blender the other day and said I, I lost my stick blender. If anyone wants to give me another one, I had four companies send me stick blenders. Yeah, right. What's that? Dodgy. Uh, no, that's just, that's just yeah. it's just came out. So I'm just going to put a bit of garlic in there. So a bit of diet food then. A bit of diet food. Yeah. What? Oh no no, we'll put buttermilk and cream. What else was in there? Oh yeah. Yeah, mate. You I'm didn't... still dreaming about that lamb chop. That was a fat. I mean, that was, was it a double-decker lamb chop or something? You would get the two bone. It was. Which, two, which is different to the way we used bone. to get it on the Hume Highway in Marvin Uruguay. again. All right, a little bit of vinegar for acid. You know why acid? Because we've got to, um, we've got to cut that lamb fat Burn down. Burn calories. Oh. Yeah, right. Yeah, good. A little bit of lemon juice. You yeah. go the vinegar and the lemon juice. Yeah. Yeah, right. Lemon juice for flavour. Um, and vinegar, a little bit of for flavour too. I'm going to put some oil in that. Uh, like my little oil. So th is that like a... It's a dressing. Of, yeah, right. Oh, it's a dressing rather than a sort of aioli, aioli. Yeah, it's a dressing. Right. Bit of salt. Right. I don't know where my salt is. Stick a finger in there, chef, if you don't mind. Wait a second, I don't think... Th you, that gets within the 1.5 metres, doesn't it? No, no. If you stuck a finger in it. There we are. <laughs> said last no, as long night. as you stick a finger in there uh, after he's out. moved and it's 1.5. Cut it out. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. really good. That is delicious, actually, isn't See, it? So I work in a professional kitchen, so I, I always taste yeah, with, the spoon. With spoon. of course. Yes, of course. So that is generally... delicious, though. Yeah. It's not bad, is it? Absolutely right. beautiful. So what I'm going to do... Oh, is that how you do a sort of Caesar? Yeah. Well... Is it? Well, it's not really, but I'm just going to... That's all raw in there, too. That's like um, broccoli. Yeah, but that's beautiful. But if you salt it all down through, and you've made me nervous now, so I'm just going to Yeah, do use this. the... I mean, why use your hand in these times when you've, you know, you've probably sneezed all... I mean, you can cut all of this out because it's just so revolting. No, they, we don't do any kind of wet market Mate, how, how, No, we're not going to do any of how that. How are they going to cut it out when this is live? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I would have thought that you clowns would have known a little bit more about we TV. We never do live. Yeah, right. You know, See? Not when there's oh. cameras around. See, I'm used to live. If you told us it was the theatre, man, <laughs> you, you could have you got, got his voice down. You could have got his voice down. My voice line. ready and everything, man. Please don't overact. <laughs> <laughs> not that you. Not Boy, that did you invite the wrong? <laughs> the wrong <laughs> what are we here for, then? Not that you've ever been guilty of overacting before. Oh, eh? Um, so how is how is work? <laughs> oh, it's hilarious. Yeah? yeah, it's hilarious. Tell you what, you. I have to say, you guys have got the the and visa staff. Um, I've got the raw end of the stick. It's hard. The arts has been kind of completely... It's in the arts. It's deep in the it's arts. It's deep in the arts. It's really... It's not good because we're second to hospo, actually, yeah. in terms of job losses. Yeah. Yeah. We're second to hospitality. Yeah. And sadly, it's, the, it's weirdly, because it's Oz, it's the industry that never kind of gets mentioned anywhere. So, yeah. well, well, there's aviation, there's NRL, there's, you know, there is hospitality. People talk about, yeah. you know, the arts... Never gets I mean, mentioned. I don't want to bang on, but it really doesn't, you know, it doesn't well, get a mention. I, I...
Heirloom potato. Oh, heirloom. Potato, tomato. Tomato. <laughs> potato, tomato. <laughs> Um, and these are just, uh, they're actually really good for, for this time of year. Oh, I've thought the same thing. They're yeah. fantastic. Oxarts and stuff. Where do you get the be best good. tomatoes in, a, in a, where do they come from in Australia? Uh, Harris yeah, Farm. Harris Farm. No, no, no. Harris Farm. <laughs> yeah. So cool. <laughs> just so great. Harris Farm. Um, no, these, these would be coming from Queensland now. Um, no question. How, how, how do they get them right now? If they're, are they uh, from um, well, still greenhouses? Yeah, greenhouses, greenhouse, mate. Greenhouses, mate. Yeah. Greenhouse, mate. Greenhouse, mate. But it's still, oh, it's, mate. it's still warm. Um, should I put some onion in there? Nah. No. I got a little bit of. Um... Is that more the salsa verde that we have on the lamb? No. That's so delicious. No, that was mint. That's mint. Yeah, it is. And I'm going to make that a dressing, but to make that a dressing, I need to add some acid to it. So some. Um, that's a little bit of. Uh, is, that purely mint? is that purely mint? No, it's parsley. mint, mint, bit of parmesan, mint bit of garlic. Vinegar. What's the acid in there? Acid is vinegar in there now. Yeah. This here, which needs some acid too, I'm going to get some more vinegar. We don't really do greenhouses in Oz, do we? Yeah, we do. There's not many. Well, I don't see... I was filming in Spain last year. There was about... There was a, there's a strip in... in uh, of the Spanish coast that is about... 150 kilometres of giant greenhouses. Yeah. It's just endless. Down yeah. where they used to shoot the spaghetti westerns in Malaga down there. We have a little bit, but we don't have a lot. Um, this is... Uh, that's the mint. Mint, um, parmesan, a little bit of garlic oil, mm. grapeseed oil, and then some um, cider vinegar. So why grapeseed, not olive oil? Grapes? Very good question, Dan. What is this? Olive oil is, is really strong. Yeah. It's quite potent, so it actually... Affects the flavour straight away. Right. Um, grapeseed is a neutral oil. Right. It's not cheap. It's about the same as olive oil anyway. But we use grapeseed oil in nearly all of our dressings because it's cook, neutral. In cook, in, in dressings cook. In, rather than cooking. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Right. And this here is a. Um, it's not finished yet, but I'll fix it. This is um, a pesto or a salsa verde, but a rocket salsa verde. Oh, bit bitter, nice. Bitter. But I just had to put a bit of. <laughs> I don't know where I should put that. What do you mean? Excuse me? What? <laughs> no, you don't. That's the... <laughs> Are going to anoint well, something? Yeah, I know. What, yeah. what are you talking about? Where the sun doesn't shine. What do you mean? Oh, what am I going to do with all these herbs? You, you just made a sauce randomly and you've got no... It doesn't have a home. It doesn't have... It doesn't, it's got to have something to go on. Yeah. Put well, on I can easily... I can, I can put it on. Let's put it on some toast in the morning, mate. I made toast for you in the morning. Look at that. Over there. Let's put it on some Iggy's toast in the morning. How do, you go, how do you go without the Iggy's up on the northern beaches there? It's there's a fantastic, very sad, there is a sad fantastic and bakery up there. Wow. That's Iggy's? Yeah, beautiful. Well, it's, not, it's not really Iggy's. Yeah. It's mine. Oh, is it? I made that this morning, but my... Um, it's an, did, they, did they give you a starter? My starter. It's an Iggy's starter. Iggy's starter. Mm. That must be worth gold. The gold. Can you... Can, um, is there a black market for that? There, is sure a, there, there is. would be black market, but I sort of promise... You probably made a promise. I promise that I would yeah, never right. do that. Yeah. Oh. Going in. Going in. I'm, I'm, dunking, I'm dunking in the sauce that has no home. A um, little bit of burrata, burrata. I'm not going to... I'm not going to... Uh, is that Aussie burrata? Yeah, it would be. That is Aussie vanilla burrata. Um, yeah. Vanilla Absolutely. is uh, real buffalo. They're fantastic. And that, I'll tell you what, that's, I've been promoting the hell out of that is where poor old Aussie cheesemakers and dairy farmers oh, yeah. are copped it because all the restaurants are shut. You know, you've got all these beautiful artists and cheeses, you mm. know, Holly Goat and um, Bacora and all those guys. That How are they go? They have they? no market. So um, everyone's been having sales and whatever else, but they've been doing it bloody tough like so, us. Yeah, and they just have to wind down the production and do all that. What about Iggy's? Because they supply every restaurant in the, in the known world, don't they? Iggy's, do they just... Iggy's retail, there's a line for yeah. 100 metres of, yeah, every right. day. Right. Every day. Right. And I don't right. like the line, so I got a little bit of starter and I make my own. Yeah. Well, Sylvie's been yeah. doing... Yeah, Sylvie's been She's making... She's been doing... Well, everyone's bread been making every bread, haven't yeah. they? You know? Yeah, because it's, yeah, it's also so, beautiful. So, no. Everyone's I've been... actually been cooking, mate. I've been... Because, you know, I'm sort of largely sidelined from the kitchen. Because <laughs> there's no point. There's no point. But I've actually been doing quite a lot of cooking, I have to say, and I've been loving it. I'm actually looking forward to uh, next weekend at your place, actually. Yeah. Yes. What are you going to cook for Matt? I don't know yet, is mate. It, well, it'll probably, it, but it, to be it, fair, it'll probably be Matt cooking because it's it, what's his birthday. No, no, he'll he'll whip up something. He loves it. He love you love taking over, don't That's you? That's going to your place. Oh my god, is that a wagyu? 
That's not just Wagyu, that's uh, David Blackmore. The best Wagyu in Australia. Wow. What, what, gra what grade is it? Oh, look, we, we're not allowed to say. You a know, grade, a grade. A grade. Marble score 12, but that'd be in a, a marble. Reserves. That'd be up there. <laughs> it's the reserves. Uh, a little bit of aged balsamic. Oh. Stunning. So do we? Do you, do you just? You'd want to slice that quite finely, wouldn't you? No, no. We're gonna. I'm gonna give you your your hab, hab, hibachi yeah. grill for my birthday. Yeah. I'm gonna give you. So you, you give me you for my birthday. Yes. Birthday. yes good. And we're gonna cut that in little cubes. Oh, cubes. And we're gonna just, just put it on a stick. Yep. And because these guys had issues selling all this because it can't go overseas, so I got that really good price. Did Not you? cheap. It's still. It's still. Did it expensive. cost as much as a hibachi? It cost more than a hibachi. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that. I knew it was kind of some cheap, crappy hibachi he's got. All right. Me. I'll get rid of that. For his birthday. Um, now, COVID free we need fingers spuds, in there. Right? So there's one there and one there. Oh. All right. So, and here. Oh, here's one that I prepared earlier. It's actually quite nice. <laughs> Oh, so, oh. these are tiny little chap potatoes. Yeah, and um, what I've done is I've just parboiled them until they're overcooked, put them in the pan and just squashed them. We might just go on bang, 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 bang. You really bang. took out a bit of aggression on those, yeah. yeah. And uh, so I've just squashed them and a little bit of grape seed, a little bit of olive oil for flavour, and I've just roasted them. Look at that. So, when do you. So good. So, no, no, no duck fat. No, no ducks no. died in the process of these potatoes. No, not, so not. what do you so you cook them in the in the grape seed oil first, grape seed oil. and then flavour them with grape, the olive oil. Seed, no grape seed oil, and then just a little bit of olive oil over the top. Right. Yeah, and I'm going to uh, show you. This is fun, isn't it? Huh. Oh. Huh? So good to get. I'll tell you what. There's one to be thing. able to get out and about. Oh. To get out and about, I have really to say, I've wonderful. really, I've really enjoyed cooking mm. and I've been my son Harry well, as you know Harry's back from uni in Melbourne and uh, has he been studying remotely or is that he's is been that... doing remotely yeah right and um, and every Saturday night I cook a dinner we play cards and uh, what cards poker uh, we, we play poker we play 500 we play whatever we can and it's just been hysterical because you know um, not that I think it's all right, but, you know, we have a couple of drinks and, and we just laugh. We just have the best time. Yeah, great. We just have the best time. Yeah, beautiful. Guys, I'm going to leave you for a second. It's I'm very dangerous go. to leave us here, mate, with a couple of beers and all of this food in front of us. I don't know what you're well, really... Well, yeah, I mean, you really Roxy's think kind that, of oh, just... I'm not going to be shoving my face in there. You haven't even got a fork, in. but you're still feeding yourself, aren't you? You're just kind of just... Yeah, no, I'm just actually pouring dipping it all in, in. Just double dipping. I'm, I'm going to... Smearing my... I'm going to smear a potato in my mouth to. as soon as that. We need, we need <laughs> more blood for you. I'm going to get a potato and dunk it in some of his, his uh, sauce without a home. Do you think the mint one? Do you mint, mint you know, or... The funny thing is... He doesn't know what he's doing with that. The funny thing is, I have actually don't open my house or my kitchen ever, and I've got all of Australia now watching it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's kind of bizarre because you, you know they're in the background, but, you know, it, it's one of the only times I really... Let people, uh, apart from you clowns, <laughs> let people in. I'm going to go get the lamb. Oh, so oh, I'll just stay we'll there. Wait, we'll wait here. Yep, I'm yeah, just I'll just be here, mate. We'll wait here. We'll be here. I'll be here watching rocks so shove potatoes. Say goodbye to you, potatoes. <laughs> mate, you're going to collapse that pile and it's going to be painfully <laughs> obvious. There's a trail of panagrato and peas and bits of uncooked broccoli there leading into your mouth. It's kind of picking away like... I don't know. Jeez. Australian. Australia, mate. Well, I'll, I'll put this up and I'll just let this go for a little bit longer because that actually needs a little bit anyway. Um, Look at that pile. Actually, give me a little one. <laughs> give me a little one. Just, just something tied me over, mate. That's a croissant. Buckle, 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 buckle. It's a croissant. It's a sort of Pokemon. It's a Pac-Man. Yeah, Pac-Man. Is he going to notice that we've been doing this? I'm just even up this pile here. Make the mound higher in the middle, mate. Oh, like a sort of conical yeah, chef, like chef a Pyramid of geezer. Yeah. yeah. 
And you're like, look, look at you just circled in crumbs. I don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> we need to lift. Um, it's too late. Just look over there. What's that? Right, let you shut that. Marvin the cat. Where? Oh. Marvin, um, Marvin loves to get out. But Dan had a couple of your potatoes. Oh, did he? Marvin loves to, um, I'm just going to leave them in the, in the thing to keep hot. Jeez, they're bloody good, aren't they? I made this. Yeah, so, good. so is that, is that, is that the, really... you just kind of 220 degrees or something? Yeah. You really smashed them. Yep. And there heaps of oil. Mm. The, um... Did you subscribe to Duck Fat? I love Duck Fat. Right. Um, it's either way you said, no? Yeah, I know. Subscribe, yeah. I love duck fat. I love duck fat. Um, I it, it's, duck fat. I remember Christmas Day, you know, I have um, some friends come over every year because I don't leave Christmas Day. And uh, Michael Moore, who's a good mate, his wife's a vegetarian. Oh. And I remember the first time she's sitting there eating duck fat potatoes and she looks at me and she just says, these are the best potatoes I've ever tasted in my life. And Michael kicks me under the table. <laughs> That's the same. Don't, don't say, say a word. word. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> but everything tastes better in duck fat, doesn't oh. it? Really? Oh. Um, it's, a, it's such a shame that it does. Mm. But I can't wait. I said, once we're out of this, I'll tell you what, I'm going to be entertaining a lot. Yeah, yeah. With mates. Every, yeah. Every, every Saturday, Sunday lunch, I reckon. Yeah. Because it's just, you know, being locked down doesn't do me justice. Do you, do you have any travel? Dreams within Australia, travelling and eating, going anywhere or doing anything, or is it you just want to? I can't wait. I reckon, I reckon that everyone is just going to want to leave the city. And I've been thinking, there's this place that I found that's got a farm like mine, right. um, about three hours from Sydney, and I'm thinking of actually doing little eco homes, like little tiny. You, you bought it? No, I haven't. No, I haven't yet. But I'm thinking of buying or yeah. getting them built. Little eco farm, eco houses, and putting them on different places of the farm and renting renting them out for the weekend, like little yeah, farm right. stays. There's not enough of that around Sydney. I don't think there is. No, because and this place that that I, I saw, I know that they're busy, and I just reckon you know you get out of the city, you know, go and, and stay in a little eco place. There's no power. You've got solar. Right. It's got a rainwater tank underneath it that collects the rain, so you don't yeah, right. have to worry about it at all. And for heating, you've got a little log fire or a little combustion yeah, thing. And a couple of them got a big spars out the out the back of them, and they're all heated by by. Um, Hang on. So know, the place they're too. already it's already built. Yeah, th this one's already, already done. So he's got about oh. five or six of these around his farm. Oh, okay, it's already there. So I'm thinking of doing it on my farm because I reckon everyone's just going to want to get out of Sydney. So you would rent out those places on your farm. Yeah. Right. And make a little tourism thing. <laughs> right. It does feel like there's not a... Like, those sorts of... Those ideas would... You know, they, I'd, I'd go to them, for instance, on a week, on a, any given weekend. All I've been doing is sitting here thinking about what can I do. What can you... Yeah. yeah. And, you know, the, apart from, you know, the pork and the pork pies and the hams and, and the, you know, That's the little filming. Too, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there, there's a million things, and, and I think travel... Um, within Australia is going to be big for the next couple of years. And there's so many... I can't wait. Well, we... Yeah, we're a captive audience, really. You know. Well, we should do a little trip to Broome or see Maddie right up at the Tiwi Islands. The Tiwi Islands, yeah, mate. Well, I mean, that, that trip yeah. was just off the charts as Maddie's it was nearly a year, 70th you know? birthday. And it was <laughs> such a great... I mean, for a 70-year-old, my just the way he leant out of helicopters, <laughs> up, you know... My 40th birthday crowds. last year. Yeah, you thought we, we went to the yeah. Seawees and... You would uh, never have thought he was 70, and he was just so... <laughs> almost agile. Out, after yeah. the knee operations. Yeah, he was like an antelope leaning out of a helicopter. Yep. And um, it was so beautiful, though. I mean, my God. Yeah. Like, I had I, I, my knowledge, shamefully, of the Tiwis was so limited. Yeah. But my God, I, I sort of knew a little bit about their art actually, because yeah. I just thought it's so particular and beautiful. But those that place, those, mm. that oh, those art, I mean, just and stunning. You know, there's one thing, and I've been a massive, you know, supporter of Northern Territory for, for years. You know, I've done stuff up there and shows up there, and go up there at least three, four times a year. And the greatest thing I think is going to come out of this is that Australians are actually going to get to see their own country before they actually shoot off to bloody, mm. you know, Paris or New York or London anymore. Mm. Yeah, and I reckon it's, it's probably the biggest advantage 
this is actually, you know, it's been horrible, don't get me wrong, but it's probably one of the only good things that's come out of it is where tourism in Australia is going to go nuts. Do you think people will go out into the countryside? Because for 100%. a long time, it's been my contention that because rents are so insane and properties mm. are so insane mm. in the capitals. Mm. And where I grew up, Albury, Wodonga, it's gorgeous. I mean, mm. it's go there's bright, there's, mm. all, you know, there's, there's, there's... Geoconda. Hey? Geoconda. Yeah, there's, I mean, my God, Beechworth, all, mm. all around there, all those areas around. Geoconda's a wine. Yeah, stunning. <laughs> I mean, stunning. Yeah. But uh, it's so beautiful that I've always thought people are going to find out eventually mm. and get, yeah, people are going to start, especially just with the discovery of what you can achieve mm. at home, mm. people are going to just go, well, why are we sitting here paying this when we mm. could be down in all that beauty Road trips. and doing and yeah. working from home more? Yeah, right. Now that we've finally I got this incredible ambient happening. Gonna, yeah. yeah. Mm. Well, and, that, and yeah, and interesting, everything's happening remotely now and you're talking about doing zoom everything yeah. it's yeah. it's yeah. it's if if it if the work practices start to change and if you can yeah live out of town you know, why, I mean, why, why, why wouldn't you why not you know go away for long weekends all the time and mondays you just work from wherever you are yeah, yeah. do zoom meetings mm. I, I can't because i've got to cook but a lot of people can Kananara. yeah right. i did a paddock plate at Kananara once and i did the um Kananara. Kananara is a food bowl so Kununurra is famous for remember the little little pardon my ignorance. Kununurra is the little bananas that they developed the bananas. Oh the little yeah, yeah. Bananas, that yeah. They developed them because they fit in a lunchbox. Yeah right. And it's a little um, is a river system there, and it, it grows a massive food food bowl like massive. And I went out to the Carnarvon fishing competition, and I did a paddock to plate. This is a true story, right? And you're you're allowed to. You're allowed to enter two fish, but if you catch one, um, you can you can wait for it. You can get a bigger one, right? And I went out and I got a snapper. It was about four kilos, the biggest fish I've ever caught. And I was absolutely like I couldn't believe how, you know, incredible this fish was. And then on the day that you had to go and weigh him in, everyone in the town basically laughed at me because I had the smallest fish. Like they were catching I'm like snappers, that, snappers that big. Like that makes you really sad. That, 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 <laughs> that big. Mine was that big, and theirs was that big. But it was uh, it was unbelievable. Yeah. Carnarvon is a beautiful place. Mm. Up near the whale sharks. Yeah, right. Is that Ning no, I haven't been up there. Ningaloo, yeah. yeah right. I haven't, I've never got up that way. You've never been to Ningaloo. You've been to, you've been to Paradise, but you've never been to Broome. Yeah. No, Broome. no, and Broome. Mate. So Broome's on my oh, list. Broome, Broome. I, I, I went to Broome the first time when I was 22. I've never yeah. heard. And, uh, and I think Broome is one of the most prettiest places on earth. It's, you know, that blue water, as you talk about, WA, mm. white sand, and then the red dirt. Yeah. And uh, you go all the way up to Cape Levesque or Cape Levesque. Yeah. That is mind blowing. I was oh, there last year. Unbelievable. That is incredible. Mm. That Kimberley's. Is incredible. Yeah, you know, no, Kimberley's it. would be. That would be. See, that'd be a great trip down from. Well, I did a trip with Matty Wright. Down got, from the Tiwis. I did one from Darwin by helicopter to Broome. Wow. Over four days. I mean, you hop, you're hopping and hopping. That'd be amazing. And where do you get fuel? Just camping. We, he hid it and had places and. You know? Oh, he'd hidden the fuel? And oh, he had people drop it off for him. How oh, right. Yeah, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Mm. And we just had little tent things we camped on the rocks. Crocodiles. No, no, we're up no, up top. Crocodiles. This, this, see, this is how, you know, crocodiles and sharks. Mr. Crocodiles and Sharks. No wonder you, haven't, no, been out, no wonder you haven't been out of Avalon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. You know, you have sharks in Avalon. Crocodiles and sharks. I love them, mate, I love them. And my friends. Mm. You know, tasty. Yeah, mm. they're my friends, yeah. They're my friends. Yeah. When they latch on to you. <laughs> when they give you a little kiss, a little rock's kiss. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Have you seen Matt? Have you seen this? Look at this little trial of Panagrato. Yeah, I know. Pan Crumbs. Panagrato. Panagrato. Reggiano. Reggiano. What's this Panagrato? Is it Panagrato? <laughs> Am I wrong? Parmesan, <laughs> Parmesan Reggiano. Parmesan Reggiano. Better. <laughs> Parmesan Reggiano. Ah, isn't it? Uh, fun? Uh, anyway, isn't there's a trial of that uh, leading back to his mouth. Uh, uh, he's, he's just dribbling. And down it's his all top. over the front of his face. Yes, and it's come from that bowl because yes. he's. Where's my mask? And he's going. Where's my fork? He's starting to. Where's my mask? <laughs> I'm going to go get the lamb. Oh, starting to. Sort of two meters. Get too much. Maybe air, four, hot four air meters. coming my way. Clowns. Hot moist air. Hot moist. <laughs> Southerly coming my way. Yeah. 
You want a bit of sauce on that? You want a bit of this? Oh, the pesto would probably be better. No, no, mate. No, mate. Now we've, oh. now we've ruined the... Uh, he's going to know that that's gone from there too. Hey? Mm. Chefs will never know. If you pile it into a cone, they'll never notice. He's going to know that that's gone. He'll never know. All right, I'll take this Make one. We'll see if he knows. Just fix it up into a... Oh, I've dropped it in there. That's <laughs> gone. That is some mess. Oh, can you pass me that one? Oh, no, that's been more... Uh, that's been had more acid in it. Mm. Are you going to give it to the dog? There's no well, the way... dog would love it. The, the pane guitar, gro, the pane guitar, whatever you call it. Oh, pane guitar. Yeah, just make sure that door gets shut. <laughs> pane guitar. Oh. <laughs> nothing happened in here. Nothing. Nothing, happened, nothing happened at all. Look at that. So that's incredible. Oh, huh? Oh, no. How do you know? Like, I'm, I mean, you just kind of walked away from all of that, left it out there. I mean, who knows what's going on? Whether it yeah, caught well, fire I, at any. You know how sometimes. And your dog didn't eat it. No, you know what, the dog Did can't you, reach. The other thing that happens. Dog can't reach, and also it's too high, really, for, for a lot of the flames. Fire. You're right. But also, it's charcoal. It's very different. And this is, this is the thing that I can't stress enough to people, is when you're cooking on a gas barbecue, all those flames that come up is all the fuel yeah, yeah. and the petrol from the gas. Nasty. It's all the it's fumes. Nasty. Yeah, right. And it gives that horrible flavour. Yeah. When you actually... Um, get flames from charcoal or wood, it's actually a really nice flavour. It's beautiful. It's beautiful and it's natural, Dan. It's natural. Oh, mate, as are you. It's like life. Thank you, mate. You're one of the most it's natural like things I've ever seen. It's like life. It's how, like um, how, uh, can I, if, 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 if I could ask a serious question. Yeah. So how do you, do you cook on the naked flame or the, or the, or the char the charcoal, white so charcoal? You, you let it, you let it actually die down. But why do I've seen it ja at some Japanese places? Yeah, what's fish, the difference? Like salmon spinning on a on one of those. Yeah. But it's that high above the flame, so there's flames licking up here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> and, and the fish is spinning, so there's exactly. kind of smoke coming up. But it's so, and it takes about 45 minutes, right, to cook a piece of salmon. Yeah, right. And so it's that's salmon. It's slow. So that's a different. Technique or something. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing there. Rocks. Remember you and I went to um, a Japanese restaurant I do in remember Japan vividly. all those years ago? You made a terrible error of judgment, didn't you? <laughs> because what we didn't know was that in Japan, and this is the thing... Uh, Stay away from me. <laughs> in Japan... Feel free to talk, but... Um, OK, well, in Tokyo, at least, this is what I've heard. It may not be true, but... Oh, yeah. Matt had an address for this restaurant, <laughs> and we had allowed ourselves what I thought was a foolishly small amount of time to arrive there. But anyway, it's Matt and he's, you know, oh, it'll be right, blah, blah, blah. What, in Tokyo, you know how here we have, OK, this house is 73, 75, 77 down the street. In Tokyo, number one in the street is the first building that was built in that street. Oh, OK. Number two is 400 metres down the road. Perfect. It's the second Number building. Number three is back up. Number three is, <laughs> like, was, yeah, right down. Was this pre-Google Maps or you guys were just idiots? It was pre, sort of, <laughs> pre I don't know. <laughs> um, I mean, it doesn't really matter because you're not going to Japan now. You're actually going to, you know... Albury Wodonga. Yeah, Albury Wodonga. We're going to Broome. Yeah. Broome. Yeah. Um, guys, I reckon it's time that we... Uh, it's incredible, mate. We sit down and, and eat. So what's um, the um? Oh. Oh, what's what's the oh. what's with the high fat? High fat. Yeah, there's a lot of mate, high I, fat. I don't there. I don't take the fat off lamb yeah. ever, right. and the reason being is that lamb gives uh, fat gives it protection, and it gives it moisture. If you don't want to eat the fat, yeah, you can cut it off. But you should do that. You should always cook with the fat on, especially lamb, right. always too. And what that does is actually drips down and renders a little bit and it gives it the, the flame. And so what would you say, like if you've got a ribeye with a huge, like a big bit of fat, like a yeah. big fat, huge yeah. trim it. Piece, <laughs> like a piece of fat. I can't <laughs> even imagine how big the fat is. Mm. What would you do with that? Now, I mean, because that's just going to catch fire, isn't it? Well, create I would, sort of acrid... I would take a little bit <laughs> off it off, but I would keep a little bit of the fat on. Always, always. Yeah, yeah. Never, yeah. never. Take sure you would trim it. Yeah, right. 
Yeah, right. Trim a little bit, but I like the fat on. Trim the fat, mate. So, guys, I think um, we're finished, and um, that means we're finished with you guys too. Uh, on to the next. I don't know who's coming up after us. I mean, um, it could be Rove McManus from what I've read of the timetable. Good luck, mind you, McManus. Um, guys, thanks for, uh, you know, watching and, and watching these two clowns, um, Dan Wiley and Richard Roxburgh. And um, if you ever actually want to cook along with me in the future, you can actually go to my website every Friday night. Um, we'll send you out a box so you can just watch it, uh, mattmoran.com.au. And um, be safe and good luck. See you guys. <laughs>